Hey everyone, Danielle here. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about dreaming bigger because I just finished up the biggest month in my coaching career and I hit a huge milestone that I had set out for months and months and months and I feel like I'm finally getting my groove with the whole coaching thing. But something that kind of hit me um, as we are in Team Cup right now and I have a ton of new coaches is that it's really important to remember that everybody's journey is different. And when I first started, I really just had the intention of changing it up, trying something new for a workout, um, getting the discount through my friend and helping her out, and maybe just possibly paying for my Shakeology if I ended up loving it. So I kind of saw it as this small opportunity to really just pay it forward to some other friends that might see success that I would and also, um, you know, pay off the amount that I was paying for Shakeology. So it was kind of a win-win, you know, I loved fitness, um, I loved new recipes, but you know, I wasn't seeing success with my um, routine back then. So I figured why not try something new? and. I immediately saw that this actually really got me results and I actually started feeling better about myself and it was something that I really never considered being a full-time position or making a thousand dollars or anything like that. I really saw it as just like some fun hobby on the side. And so that's what a lot of new coaches come in for. They see the discount, um, maybe they pay it forward to a few friends and pay for their Shakeology along the way. And that's totally fine. But I think the important thing is to realize that, you know, after coaching for almost a year, my vision has shifted. And especially after attending Summit, I really saw that the success of this business has no discrimination. And I could take it as far as I wanted to go. You know, I'm, it's hard to say this out loud, but I'm sitting at almost $60,000 in student loan debt right now from my undergrad and graduate degrees. And as much as I love being an architect, I hate building someone else's dream. I hate being told when I can take off vacation. I hate being told when I can come into the office and leave. I just, I would love one day to have more freedom, more time. Um, more events spent with my family and friends whenever I feel like it, being more spontaneous, um, being able to travel when I want. So for me, the vision of being a coach kind of was the tool to get me where I wanted to be. So not only was it a financial freedom thing, but over time I began to see that, you know what, I don't need to work for the next 40 years in an eight to five or seven to six or whatever it may be like architecture you pull long deadlines and it's not always pretty you know you put your heart and soul out there and you don't get much recognition um, you're expected to take licensing exams and be a registered architect but to be honest it really doesn't get you much unless you have your own firm which takes a lot of money to back that up and a lot of stress and sacrifice and I just really never saw myself having my own firm. So when I started getting into Beachbody, you know, as I got a little bit better over time, especially come January 2015, I was about um, four months into coaching and I, I wasn't really climbing that high. I was just kind of plateauing and being steady, maybe joining some people here and there, but not super serious about it. And I... I really looked into myself and I said, you know what, I don't want to live this way anymore. Why can't I be that person on stage? Why can't I pay off all my loans in a couple payments with my coach commissions? Why can't I help other people change their lives and change their financial freedom and change the freedom that they have with their time and their family and their friends? I mean, it just became this powerful thing that evolved over time in changing my mindset from just paying off my Shakeology to really huge financial freedom and a shift in where I really saw myself in life. And even though I'm not where I want to be just yet, we all know the same thing we tell our challengers, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And the biggest thing that I will say is 
Start out, yes, with small, manageable goals that are action-oriented towards what you want to gain as a coach. But also remember that you can dream as big as you want. If you hate your job, if you don't like being told what to do and when to do it, if you've always wanted to go on that big trip but you could never make it work, like, let this be the tool to get you where you want to be, wherever that may be for you. And remember that as time goes on and you begin to help people change their lives for the better, it's going to become almost like an addiction that is so positive and so overwhelmingly supportive that you'll just keep wanting more. And that's, I mean... That's something that I hope I can give as a gift to my coaches because it has changed my life so much for the better. And sometimes it's hard to convey that, you know, just through messages or telling them just just keep moving, just hit success club, like just and it's it's so true because this month I finally got my diamond shirt. I finally put a line in the sand and said I'm doing it no matter what. It's gonna be there. And now I'm staring at one star right around the corner. Like it's totally in my control. And I can see it quickly advancing because I'm helping my coaches see the vision faster than I did and helping them see that it's okay to set those big lofty goals. Because usually when you do that and you set your mind up to say, this is where I want to go, let me work backwards and see the actions that I want to take to get there and make it happen. Don't make excuses. Don't say things are in the way. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. And if I can get to Diamond with a full-time job, why can't you? I mean, why can't you get to five-star? The reality is you can dream as big as the sky is. Everybody on stage at Summit that got recognized was from a wide range of backgrounds. There were people that were 24 years old. There were people that were 65 years old. There were people that were super-duper fit, and there were others that were probably just okay with themselves. And that's okay everybody's journey is different but don't let yourself hold yourself back don't let you be the reason that you don't reach those goals you should be dreaming big you should be saying out loud to your family or your friends i don't care how ridiculous this sounds but i'm going to make this happen and this is how i'm going to do it because what i've found is when i say it out loud it becomes real that person knows that I'm going after it and I have to prove them right. I have to show them that I'm going after it. And even if I don't hit the mark, I still work 10 times harder than I would have if I just wrote it on a piece of paper and told no one. And that's where the power of the success partners really come into play for me because uh, my success partner, Noel and I will sit at the beginning of each month and say, this is what we're going after. I need you there to support me all the way through. And every single month, our goals have gotten higher and higher and higher. And I've gone from being a coach that just wants to pay for their Shakeology to not only paying off all my student loan debt, which sounds crazy, but in making this a somewhat at least part-time, full-time position where I can have the freedom to go help out at a local university or go back to my college reunions and be an integral part of the alumni club. Like, I can do those things without thinking twice. And I know that it's totally feasible because I've seen it firsthand from people just like me, from people that have come from less than I have. So there's absolutely no reason that I can't go out after it. So what I hope that you take from this call is don't be afraid to dream bigger. But also, don't let your fears of failure hold you back. Let your mess be your message and write down those big scary goals and say them out loud to the people that mean mo the most to you. Even if they look at you like you have five heads, because it's going to make a difference in the way you drive through every single day. You're going to be disciplined and put the pedal to the metal and you're going to go after it more than you ever would if you just had those goals in your head. So dream bigger, go after it, believe that you can get there, and I promise that amazing things will happen. So best of luck to you and have fun with the Team Cup.